Hey dolls and gents, I am back with a new video. I wanted to film a super simple makeup tutorial. This is perfect for those of you on the go, whether you're in school, you're a mom, you work in corporate, if you have a busy lifestyle, or if you just don't like to spend a lot of time on your makeup, this look is gonna be perfect for you, and it is a very, very natural look. I either rock mad makeup or no makeup, but I know a lot of you like to rock very lightweight looks. This video is sponsored by Clinique. I definitely wanted to share this product because your base is so important for this look. You want your face to look as flawless as possible before you apply your makeup because the better your base looks, the better your makeup is going to turn out and the less makeup that you need to wear. I have been loving the Clinique ID product. You get to choose a base and also a cartridge. They have three different bases. I went ahead and chose the Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. I do have normal to oily skin, so I wanted something that was lightweight but still moisturizes my skin, and this is perfect for that. The cartridge that I chose is the Uneven Skin Tone. They have five cartridges in total that can address whatever skin concerns that you have. Y'all know that I have suffered from uneven skin tone for so long now and I love the fact that every time I use a pump of this I'm getting 90% base and 10% active cartridge concentrate so every time I use this day and night I am getting exactly what I need as far as moisturizing my skin and addressing my uneven skin tone you want to make sure that you have a good skincare regimen and moisturizing is major key because that is going to allow the foundation to sit on your skin properly if you're not already subscribe to my YouTube channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. Also, if you have time, definitely share my video. That will allow more people to see my video and for us to continue to grow. I don't want to talk too much. If you want to see how I achieve this full makeup look right here, you know what to do. Stay tuned, guys. So we're first going to start off by moisturizing the skin and I made my perfect moisturizer using Clinique ID. I chose my base to be the dramatically different hydrating jelly because it's a super lightweight water jelly moisturizer and it's perfect for my skin type. My skin type is normal to oily so I needed something that was very lightweight on the skin and I chose to get the cartridge uneven skin tone because y'all know that I suffer from hyperpigmentation on my skin. Next I'm going to prime my skin using a vitamin infused priming spray and this is going to balance my skin even the skin tone and also absorb the oil on my skin. So today I'm going for super lightweight coverage. So our imperfections are going to peek through and that's okay. I chose to use a skin tint that has SPF of 23 in it. During the day, wearing SPF is super important. So I love the fact that this does have SPF in it to protect our skin from the sun. Also, this is not really giving us any sort of coverage as you can see. It's just adding color to my skin. This is perfect for someone who doesn't like to wear a super heavy foundation. If you like something more lightweight, just to add a bit of color to your skin to kind of waken your skin up, you will love this product. So I am going to go in with a medium coverage concealer underneath the eye just to make sure that area looks nice and awake. I am using a concealer that is about two shades lighter than my skin tone. I'm not going as light as I normally do because I want this to look very blended and buffed out. So I'm first going in with a eyeshadow brush. This is actually one of those crease brushes, but I like to diffuse it out first and then go in with my beauty blender. This is going to give you a very airbrushed look and it's going to mute out the coverage of the concealer, but still keep the coverage in the places that you want it to be. So we don't want to add any more coverage to our skin. We just want to set those areas, especially if you have oily skin like me, you need to set these areas with powder. If you have dry skin, you can opt out. But underneath my eyes, I am using a translucent setting powder. And then on the rest of my face, I'm also using a translucent setting powder, but it does have a slight tint to it that's closer to my skin tone, but it is not adding any more coverage to the look. 
For brows, I'm going in with a mascara first and I'm going to brush my brow hairs up. This is going to make my brows look a lot thicker and it's going to give me a more natural look. So I wanted my natural lip color to shine through today. So I'm just going in with a clear lip gloss. This is going to add a nice glossy look to the lips, but it's going to allow my natural lip pigment to come through. If you have thick eyebrows, you can go in with a brow pencil here, but because I have thin eyebrows, I'm going in with a brow gel cream and this is going to give me the brows that I never had basically. So I'm going to fill in the outer three fourths of my brow and then I'm going to go into the front portion and do hair like strokes to make it look very natural. Now y'all know I had to apply lashes. No look is complete without false lashes for me. But if you want this to be a truly natural, simple, everyday look, then you can just apply mascara here. If you're like your girl, then you can apply some nice thick lashes or you can apply some supernatural lashes too. But I'm not applying lashes as long as I normally do. These are like more natural lashes for me, but they are super cute and thick, which I love. So we're not going to do bronzer today, but we're definitely going to add highlighter because I want to look like I'm glowing, glowing from within. So if you like a more matte look, you can skip this step. But if you're like me and you love that glow, go ahead, blow up your cheekbones, your forehead, your nose, above your lips and your chin. Next, I'm going to add a mascara on my bottom lashes. Not too much, just a little bit just to make them look more dark and dramatic. So the last and final step is setting our makeup with a spray. And this is also gonna give us a bit of glow because it does have coconut in it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it for you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I want to thank Clinique again for sponsoring this video. Do not forget to visit Clinique.com or your local Clinique counter to build the right custom hydrator for you. If you would rock this look, let me know in the comments section down below. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye. By the way, if you have not already watched my last makeup tutorial, be sure to click the box right here and it will take you straight to it.